I'm recording this on the 15th September and I'm currently in Ubud, Bali. I wanted to record this moment <laughs> as I have so much, so much to share with all of you. I have been in Bali for 15, 18 days now. Ubud, Bali specifically. And I participated a training on somatic arts with Unity Space. I have never experienced this in my life. This is my biggest biggest of all biggest discovery biggest breakthrough as I've done all this little little steps of inner work outer work and I've never felt so blessed before truly it is also because with the great support of my family members my friends made me who am I today and with great appreciation to who I was in the past. Walking through those steps to where I am now. I have never been so grateful that I just wanted to share all the blessings in life. It's an, it's yes it's about Ubud it's about Bali it's about this beautiful portal yes it's also about the culture the religion the prayers the blessings and also yes it's about the people here the locals the foreigners tourists the trainers teachers students the animals the plants and also yes about the elements here the unseen forces the god and goddesses the spirits so my first time my first two weeks i have been literally spending most of my time in training and then coming back to where i stay Training, stay. Training, stay. Sometimes I'll get something, I'll eat outside. So I have not been exploring further than Ubud. And it was today, new moon in Virgo, that I decided to just book a grab, go to this Tirta Ampul temple, water Buddha, water temple. And decided to do a purification a cleanse and I've never I would never regret the decision and I went to another temple it's another gunung another place to really look at how the stones are carved <sighs> I'm counting my blessing as well as reflecting what I've been through today especially and all these 15 days, not all the days, but at least I have about 10 days, I was spending this with a group of beautiful, soulful people, human beings, that I am so, 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 so grateful for their love, their care, space. And teacher Van Vangelis, and as well as Angela, as well as a whole group of women, eight of us in total, we created and shared a space together. So I'm beyond, beyond grateful. What happened is, one thing I learned is that when a group of people come together to work on something, itself 
is a work of, is a work of art itself is a dance it can be a solo individual journey but it works in a group so when this group have consensus and understanding and agreement to support each other consciously and unconsciously and allow each other to have that space of growth of reflection of downtime silence when we come from a herd of love understanding and we give each other that this is what happened I also reflected that, that it's also because of this group the first three days when I was here I haven't met them yet so I was literally just moving around swirling the town going to these places visited uh, nearby attraction places mainly nature and eat good food and I just realized that on the third day itself I felt so restless I felt empty inside because I haven't been able to interact or share or exchange with people in a deeper level level so I felt really restless until I meet the group and we have spent 10 days together and we we're gonna have 10 more days it's just an art of blessing and I learned one thing also throughout this practice training practices I learned that making mistakes is actually a part of growth and it's a very vital part of growth when I allow myself to fall and I stand up again that's my learning that's a learning insight that's very valuable so I must allow myself to surrender trust and fall even though I fall I can begin and start again and I also start to meet interesting people I started to meet friends online that we were connected in a group I started to meet long time Facebook friend I started to meet new friends where I'm staying I started to meet uh, yeah the locals it is what what really valuable in me but for my experience is that the exchange of thoughts, emotions, experience, learnings, insights, data. It's the exchange of data that allows me to renew myself in so many ways that, okay, so the patterns that is in my body, my mind especially, it does not work anymore. I have new patterns, I have new experience. And that created a new me. That felt really good. As well as doing the work beforehand. Meaning to say, you don't just experience things. You actually plan before them. Meaning that whatever I experience right now is also what I have planting seed to experience. By meditation, visualization, and some body work so mental emotion and physical all together I've done meditation um, two months before coming to Bali every morning short or long long could be like an hour plus short could be just five minutes and I've done some qigong work as well in the morning and slowly adding up to before sleep so these are the work that I have put in effort plus I work on my physical body every day at least a walk at least a simple walk for half an hour sometimes the body just don't feel like it I will just allow it to rest for a day so that I don't stop the momentum 
I'm saying that taking physical effort to manifest things that you want to experience before that we can actually do something thinking visualizing seeing feeling and then making things happen so I am just sharing how grateful I am here again so that whoever who wants to who have doubt in believing themselves this is what you can do right so that's the simple sharing for now and I look forward to see you next time bye